Hello. Uh, my topic today is the annual performance review. Recently, there have been quite heated discussions about it. Uh, criticism is ranging uh, from it uh, being ineffective uh, and thus a waste of time to even worse, uh, that it is uh, demotivating and thus counterproductive. Uh, a UCLA professor uh, recently, a couple of years ago, wrote a book titled uh, Get Rid of the Performance Review meaning that we have to eliminate it altogether. Well, I have a different view. Uh, I think we should keep it, but we should at the same time change it radically. Well, uh, I'm an economist. Uh, economics is known as the dismal science. Um, thus, you will probably not be surprised by my choice of analogy here. Uh, it is that of a funeral. I uh, recently attended a funeral. Uh, it was uh, the funeral of a former university professor uh, who passed away uh, having lived uh, a long life, uh, aged about 80. Well, it's uh, not that much that I want to talk about the funeral, but rather about what happened after it. Um, so after the funeral, we gathered in a nearby restaurant and uh, started reflecting on his life. So uh, what happened there, you could say, uh, was the ultimate performance review of his life. Uh, quite many people stood up one by one, uh, sometimes a couple, and they had something to say. Uh, so uh, you could say in corporate terminology, it was something like 360 degree feedback loop. Uh, Surprisingly, no, not surprisingly, actually, it was all positive. Uh, negative comments were consistently avoided, although maybe there were some, uh, but uh, they were avoided at, at that commemorative event. Uh, what was interesting as well, uh, most people, maybe not all of them, but most people were very specific. Uh, they told quite specific stories. Somebody remembered uh, how he had shared uh, his apartment uh, while he was a young student and was looking for uh, a place in the dorms. Uh, another one uh, told about how he uh, made her passionate about ice hockey, of which he was also a big fan. Uh, of course, there were also stories about them uh, having fun together, but uh, they were all, most of them were specific stories. Uh, there was a pity though, uh, so to say, in the air, a, a, a feeling that um, isn't it a pity actually that we save all those good stories uh, for the moment when the person is not able to hear them anymore. Uh, his chair at the table uh, was empty. Uh, at that moment, I thought, uh, well, how can we use it? Uh, how can we learn from it? And maybe we can indeed uh, transplant some of it, what happened during that commemorative event, uh, to what we call the annual performance review uh, in our companies and organizations. So uh, what, would be, uh, what would we do? Uh, well, for one day in a year, we would make or employees, or people, or teammates feel like dead celebrities. Uh, like Elvis, um, like a star, like uh, make them feel like they have a fan base uh, in our company or in our organization. Um, how, 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 would, uh, how we would go about it? Uh, well, uh, one thing we should stick just to the positive, uh, eliminate the negative feedback say that negative feedback on that particular day of the annual performance review is taboo. And uh, we should also be specific. Uh, we should tell, looking in retrospective at that year, how that person uh, contributed to our company and tell specific stories, say how that person, uh, for example, made a great presentation, having had just half uh, an hour to prepare, that presentation helped us win an important customer. Maybe another story how she uh, decided uh, uh, to get another cash register uh, to eliminate uh, the hated uh, lunchtime queues uh, 
uh, the canteen. Uh, specific stories like that, uh, instead of some high-level corporate success story, um, that would give the person something to identify with, be proud of, and replicate. Uh, well, at this point, I feel a question in the air. Um, a question about, well, what do we do then uh, with the negative feedback? And fair enough. But I think uh, that uh, negative feedback should arrive throughout the year uh, as an ambulance. Or maybe for those in the US, uh, the pizza delivery van is an even better analogy. Uh, so negative comments should be instant, as well as positive comments, of course. But for the annual feedback, for the annual performance review, we should stick just to the positive in form of specific stories that the person can identify with uh, and be proud of. Uh, thus, uh, my suggestion is not to bury uh, the annual performance review, but uh, to learn from the ultimate performance review. Thank you very much. Thank you.